Protests and prayer on the eve of a controversial Christian prayer meeting the Texas governor has been promoting for months now. Sally McDonald is live at a counter rally the ACLU is sponsoring in Northwest Houston. Sally. Well, the crowd is much smaller than the one that's expected at Governor Perry's prayer event tomorrow. About 100 people or so showed up at this church tonight, but they are just as passionate about their beliefs that Governor Perry is trying to make a political statement. The eyes of Texas are upon us. Inside Mount Ararat Baptist Church, people from a variety of backgrounds and faiths come together to pray. Our church in general tends to be very big on tolerance, and this is, a, to me, a chance to take a stand for tolerance. There are Christians alongside Jews and Muslims. All are united in one belief, that Governor Perry should have included every religion in his day-long prayer meeting tomorrow, or should have never initiated it in the first place. Keynote speakers say Perry is blurring the lines between church and state. If it's just Christians getting together, okay. If just Jews getting together, okay. But if you're calling a prayer rally, uh, and certainly being called by a sitting head of state, uh, that that is something that 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 cannot ignore diversity. A federal judge has already cleared the way for Perry to participate in the event called The Response at Reliant Stadium. About 10,000 people have registered to attend. I am just elated that we have a governor that would put Christ in his, his walk and just call the nation to come. The event is attracting so much attention because of what Perry hasn't said, whether he'll make a run for the White House in 2012. Organizers argue tomorrow is about God, not politics. We have no regrets. Some people want to make it a political event. Those are critics, and you're going to have critics anytime you do something that's whenever you step out in your faith and you're a public official like Governor Perry. Many activists at tonight's rally will continue protesting outside Reliant tomorrow. At least one speaker says he has bigger battles to fight. If I was to sit down one-on-one -on -one to talk to Governor Perry, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my, uh, my time and his time complaining about the prayer service. I'd try to deal with the issues that I think he needs to address. And one issue the ACLU is trying to figure out, was any taxpayer money used to fund tomorrow's event? Well, Perry's people say no. They say the entire bill is being footed by the American Family Association. We're live in Northwest Houston. I'm Sally McDonald, Fox 26 News.